Well, there are fears that hundreds of jobs could be lost in Wyala as cuts are made yet again by a mining and resources company in South Australia. The operator of the Wyala Steelworks has revealed that it wants to slash $100 million from its operating costs. Already, job cuts in the mining and resources sector have cut a sway through South Australia, fueling our nation-leading unemployment rate. Now, the company that runs Whalers Steelworks Arium has announced $100 million in cost cuts, and that means more jobs will go. We don't know the numbers, they haven't given the numbers, uh, but uh, if they're talking saving $100 million, there'll be pretty severe job cuts in there. There's no question that this will be a tough news story for a, an area of regional South Australia that's already been facing some pretty hard stories. The company's Whaler Steel Operations employ 1,250 direct staff and 400 contractors. But it won't specify how many jobs are on the line, even when the question was posed by the State Treasurer to Arium's chief. I have asked about jobs. It's, it's too early to tell. He's hoping it can be very minimal. Earlier this year, Arium announced 600 SA jobs would go from its mining operations, some of those also in Whaler. And this week, 125 workers in the same region are being laid off by mining contractor BCG. In that area, that area is bleeding to death with jobs going out. In mining uh, and in commodities, prices go up and they go down. And when they go down, people make efficiencies. When they go up, they invest more. Uh, Wyala has been through worse. Uh, Wyala's best days are ahead of it. But the sector's supposedly short-term pain keeps coming. Already, BHP has shared more than 700 positions. Alinta will cut 440 when it closes the Port Augusta power station and the Lee Creek coal mine that supplies it. And Santos has slashed more than 500. I fear for our members where their children in the future are going to get a job. Uh, I fear for the flow on effect of um, people not spending as much money. And Jack Baquetta is live in Wyala. Good evening, Jack. How have locals reacted to the news of more job cuts there? Well, Kate, the locals here are understandably concerned, describing the cuts as a terrible blow to the town. The region has already been through numerous job cuts and the locals that I spoke to today are concerned that there are no jobs left for those who were made redundant. The mayor, though, he is trying to find a positive, saying that the short-term savings are necessary to secure the long-term viability of the steelworks remaining here in Wyala. Jack? My theory on this is it's short-term pain for a very, very long-term gain. And that's, uh, you know, that, that'll be the outcome. I mean, they have a strong future here. Terrible, <laughs> really. Yeah, not good at all for the town and everyone else. No, it's not good, no. It's um, very worrying for our community, definitely, and, you know, for the future and future of Wyala. Arium will make an announcement on exactly how many jobs will be shared at its AGM in November. Locals here at Wyala are nervously awaiting that decision.